While creators of God of War, Corey Barlog and Eric Williams, have suggested that Ragnarok mark the end, there are still many lingering plot points and unresolved elements in the story that could lead to further adventures in the Norse lands itself. The debate forms the backdrop for speculation about the potential emergence of Forseti as a significant character and perhaps even the next antagonist in the series. Despite his absence, Forseti's frequent mentions in the game's dialogue make him stand out. This attention to Forseti's character is not coincidental and suggests that it might hint at a more substantial role for him in the series' future. The information available about Forseti in Norse mythology is limited. He was described as the god of justice and a god who resided in the hall known as Glitnir. Another reliable source from the prose Edda suggests that he is the son of Baldr and Nana. In God of War Ragnarok, however, However, it seems like he was Odin's private investigator and had a keen interest in prophecy, particularly concerning the poisoning of Thor. It's also possible that Forseti was the son of Baldur in the games as well. If that's the case, he would have all the more reason to get revenge on Kratos as he killed both Odin and Baldur. Forseti also could try and bring back Odin from the dead with the help of Hugo. Maybe Odin instructed Forseti on which ritual or spell to perform in case he died in Ragnarok. Maybe Forseti is the only god to know how to bring Odin back from the dead, and that's why he wasn't present in Ragnarok. Odin knew Forseti was too valuable to die in the conflict between the realms. And do you remember that before God of War Ragnarok, the character of Odin was going to be a more traditional evil villain? Even early concepts of Odin depict him as a brawler. The change was made because they wanted to subvert our expectations and also because the story demanded Atreus had found Odin to be trustworthy. But now that a trace is out of the Norse realm's picture, maybe Santa Monica could explore a similar villain that resembles the original Odin. Maybe this is what we'll see whenever we get to meet Forseti, a god whose main strength is his intellect but can also get down and dirty if he needs to. And Kratos' character development has evolved him to become more trustworthy to those around him, a stark contrast to his earlier incarnation. This newfound trust could potentially make Kratos susceptible to manipulation, particularly by a character as cunning and enigmatic as Forseti. At this time, we don't know enough about this character to know what he's going to do next. From this description, he sounds like a very smart and capable god. This would naturally make him a good candidate to be the next villain, but at the same time, it's too early to say for sure. Do you think he would be in the next DLC Atreus solo game, or would he have a full-fledged game with the father-son duo? Let us know in the comments below!